Hey guys, welcome back to Stay True TV, here again on the quad bike. This video we want to try and get the bull bar mounted up, the racks, and probably having to refabricate a rack for the back. Now we've still got the genuine rack that came with the bike in the parts boxes. It looks a little bit twisted, but we'll have a look at it and see if we can straighten it out and get it back on. It would be good to get the genuine looking bull bar on here. And the same with the top rack. The top rack, I have noticed already there are a few bent mounts, but we may be able to straighten them out and get them back fitted on here. Go ahead and see what happens. Go and suss them out. Let's go and have a look. All right, guys, so here it is. This is a genuine bull bar for it. Everything looks reasonably okay with it, apart from we're missing a mount up here, which is fine. We could prefabricate another one of them. Got a bolt broken off in this mountain here. Other than that, doesn't look like too much. A bit of paint couldn't sort out. Bit of a sand back and a bit of paint couldn't sort out. The rack on the other hand, actually the rack's probably not as bad as I thought either. The only thing that seems bent is this one here. It seems to need to bend out a little bit more the same shape as this one here. It's almost like it's been flattened in. So if we can bend that back out and get that to sit right onto the guarding, pretty much got a good bar here. Got a broken stud in this hole here. We'll have to get that, get that out of an easier. But I guess the first challenge is, let's see if we can straighten it up and get it back on the bike. First thing we're going to try is to get this stud here out, give it a bit of a spray. Now we've got this stud remover here, just place it on. All right, we'll go and get a drill and drill her out. Alright, so so far overall that's not fitting too badly. We've got the light mounted up to the front there. We've got the two frame mounts mounted on. Looking perfect. There's a bit of damage just here where it looks like it's hit some rocks or something like that. We could probably do a bit of a repair and make a bit of a back plate for that. Other than that, it's not looking too bad. The only damage we've got is this bit up the top here where the rack mounts onto. But let's go and grab the rack, see if we can straighten some of them arms out and see if we can get it sitting on here relatively well. If so, we've saved ourselves a heap of work. We've got the front end sorted, and it's just the back end we've got to fabricate up. So as you can see here, I'll let this quite a difference in the angle here. This one here slopes nice and easy. This one here goes more down and out. So, what we want to do is try and get this one here, mirroring this one here, kind of out a bit more. So what we'll do is we'll go and give it a bit of a, bit of a knock, see if we can straighten it out, and maybe try and flatten it down a little bit, see how we go. Alright, well there you go overall, that's not too bad, that's set on pretty well. We've got a broken stud in this one which I didn't realise, so we'll have to get drill that out. That's tightened down, we've got the two front mounts tightened down, might just need to check the welds, make sure they were correct from bending that back around. We'll have to weld a new tab into here to bolt that one back down, but other than that we're looking pretty sweet. As I said here, we might do a bit of a repair or might even put just a bash plane over the top of it. Doesn't feel like it's weakened or anything. It was still pretty decent steel there, so we might be able to just blast it up, paint it, and might chuck a bash plane in. It'll come up to about here, so it's not preventing any airflow through the radiator. Should look sweet. Uh, other than that, we're looking pretty good for the front end. 
go and get these few bits and pieces cut up and welded in, get them mounted back up and then we'll start on the back end. Check that out, we've got the full bar mounted back up. That, the rack is seated, looking sweet, nice and sturdy. So that's all ready to be sanded back and give it a bit of paint. So now we're gonna work on getting the back one fabricated up. Looking sweet. Then we'll get some paint on that. Paint this, get it all mounted up, and racks are done. A few days has gone past since I was out here last, but today we wanna try and get the fabrication of this back rack at least started. So I've gone ahead, grabbed a bit of cardboard, we go ahead, try and work out some sort of a shape. Bit, bit of an iffy one this one. I don't really know where I'm going with it, I just figure we'll make a start and hopefully we'll get somewhere in the end. So we'll go and make a profile on the cardboard, see where we end up.
All right guys, so it's the next day. We managed to get this all welded up, new brackets, ready for a clean up now. So what we'll do is we'll go and grab the flap disc, get over all the welds, just make it look nice, clean all the surfaces, get it ready for some paint, drill some holes in for the mounting points. We haven't finished the mounting points yet, so we'll get them drilled out and ready to go. Hopefully get a coat of paint on these things. Alright guys, so we've just gone ahead and prep washed the framework, so it's all ready to go, she's all cleaned up, ready for paint. We're trying the hammer finish paint, seen it on uh, mate's wheels, and I thought it looked pretty good and it's supposed to be pretty tough stuff, so I thought with putting things on the rack and stuff like that, if we're carrying things around that might wobble around a bit, bits and pieces, we don't want it scratching the paint, so this stuff's supposed to be tough as hell, so we thought we'd give it a crack and see how it comes out. It's like a black rough finish, I believe. No, no primer required on bare steel, so let's give it a crack and see how it goes. All right guys, so there it is, it's painted up. The back rack is pretty well done. I did have to just go ahead and wipe around these two areas there and just respray it. It doesn't look like it's taken up all right, it looks good. Did have a bit of a run, I got a little bit heavy handed on the paint. And I did make a mistake. Should have probably sanded that rack as well, had it all ready to go. I was a bit keen to see how this paint turned out. But that's fine, we're just gonna leave that for the night, let this one dry, and we'll see how it turns out in the morning. But for now, got something else in store. All right, so we've got our wheels and our handlebars back today. So I'm thinking we grab the handlebars, we'll go and refit them to the bike, get the new handlebars on there, get rid of the decoys, so we can start setting everything up on it. Then we might, if we get enough time, start looking at putting some valves in the rear tires and getting the rear tires fitted. All right guys, so, so far so good, it's looking fantastic. As you've seen, I've got the original front brake lever here now. I went for all the bits and pieces and I did find it in the back of, back of the box. So we've got the original brake back on there. We've got the rear brake, all the switches hooked up, the choke levers hooked up, cables hooked up. Everything's looking good so far. We've still got this sucker here. Just clips into the back of here. No dramas. Got the brake light switch. One of the things that we did also go ahead and grab is this boy, bad boy here. Let me show you what it is. Let me get it open. All right. Brand spanker, the one that we had, the button's missing. Always gonna go to the point of machining one up for it, but this thing was 80 bucks, brand new. Thought why not? So let's get that on, go and chuck it on, see how she looks. So the rack is mounted and looking sweet. Really happy with how that's turned out. Once again, there are a couple of little runs on this paint. 
I think if you're painting with this stuff, probably best do it in a bit better light, but for what it is, I'm happy as slag with that. So, probably getting a little bit too late to fit the tyres on the wheels tonight, but we have got one more surprise. Alright, so, we had a couple of packages come this week. One off, and we've been waiting for it for a while. From a mob called Cully's Motorcycles in Western Australia. Hooked me up with a new side panel for this side. So we've still got a few more parts coming, but I was pretty chuffed to see this because when we did get, when this one was ordered, it was explained that this was coming from Japan and it's been 12 weeks, so pretty happy to see it arrive. So let's go mount it up and see what it looks like. Really happy with that. All right, guys, so it's starting to look fantastic. Got the rear rack fitted tonight. We've got the files fitted tonight. We've got all the bits and pieces fitted. New full drive, new side cover. Got the original shift uh, brake lever on. Coming together sweet. Tomorrow night, we'll get back out here. Come and get the front rack and bull bar painted up. Fingers crossed, mounted back on. That paint seems to dry really quickly, so that was super cool. Managed to get the racks mount, rack mounted tonight. But as for now, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, so it's the next day. First thing we're gonna do is try and get into this rack, get it cleaned up, painted, and back on the bike. All right guys, so we've got the bar painted. It's looking good. Still got another coat to go on it yet. We'll just give it a few minutes, then we'll go and do another coat. I'm thinking while that dries, we'll go ahead and get the rear wheels and see if we can get the tires on. We haven't done the rack, the top rack, as I'm out in the shed pretty late at night. I've started pretty late tonight. Did have a few other things on my agenda. So we've got the front bar done. It's starting to get a bit late, so I'm pretty happy with that anyway. We'll get the front bar fitted, and then tomorrow we can go ahead and sand back that front rack, get that fitted, and that's our rack work pretty much done. But for now, let's go and grab the tyres, see if we can get them fitted on. Alright guys, so the front ball bar is still drying, we're just going to leave that overnight now. We've got the wheels on, they look amazing. Daniel from Dan's Powder Coating in Wyala has done another amazing job on the powder coating on the wheels. And the handlebars, let's not forget the handlebars. They look awesome as well. Whole bike's starting to come together now, starting to look sweet as. A couple of little things more, and this thing's going to be just about finished. So we'll come back tomorrow night, get the bull bar 
and the front rack sorted out, done. And we may even get a chance to just get the uh, get the hand grips on as well before this video finishes up. But as for now, we'll catch you tomorrow. All right, guys. So it's the next day. Bull bars done. Nice and dry, looking sweet. As I said, it does have a bit of damage down here where it looks like they've bashed the rock pretty hard. We are going to make a bash plate for that, just not today. Today we're going to focus on getting the, the rack finished, sand it back, painted, and hopefully back on the bike. Should be looking sweet. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we go. All right, so while the rack's drying, we're gonna go ahead, grab the bull bar, mount her up, then we'll go do a second coat on the bull bar, come back and chuck the hand grips on. Let's get into it. Bull bar's done. Now let's get some hand grips on. So we've got our new hand grips ready to go. I like to apply hand grips with air. With these handlebars, we've got holes going straight through the bar, so to put air straight through the grip into the bar is gonna be, so what I've got here is a little trick, and it's gonna up the value of your bike, but it's also gonna help you get your grips on the bike. Let's show you. All right, guys, and here it is. You've got a 10 cent piece. Chuck it in your grip. Feed it down to the bottom. Even whatever you've got, put it down there. All right guys, so that's it for this video. We've got a fair bit achieved. We've got our rear rack fabricated, painted up, mounted on. We've got our front rack sanded back, bull bar bent straight, sanded back, painted up. Mounts it on, looking fantastic. We've got our new wheels. Big shout out to Dan's powder coating on Facebook. If you want any powder coating, as you see by all the jobs we've had done on this bike, they always come up schmicky duck. Get on to him, he's more than happy to help you out. We've got all our tyres sorted, fitted up, mounted up, looking good. We've got our hand grips on, levers on, everything's mounted up, looking fantastic. Hopefully, in the next video, we'll get a couple little minor. Tune up's done and hopefully get it out for a spin and see how it rock and rolls. But as for now, don't forget we are on Facebook, Stay True TV, and we're also on Instagram if you want to follow us on there. As for now, stay safe and we'll catch you next time.